Hello, and thank you so much for joining us for this Empire Global Partners webinar, and welcome back to those who have been with us on prior webinars. Today, we'll talk about remittance as a service, or for short, RAS. We will go into greater detail and dive into the how to get your MSB license in all 50 states in under 60 days and less than $200,000. If you are new to our webinars, I'm Pam Sullivan, Webinar Analyst for Empire Global Partners. And as always, I'm glad to be your virtual guide throughout this training and to be here to help you as you navigate the remittance as a service world. Before we get started, I wanted to direct your attention to the email address here on your screen, info at empireglobal.partners. This is the best way to get in touch with us about anything we go over here today. And we love hearing from you and we welcome all questions and comments. So rather than using the chat box that you see below, please use this email instead to send your questions. They will come directly to our representatives who monitor this email 24 seven. So I assure you that you will receive a reply back to all of your questions quickly and confidentially. Lionel is the expert on the topic of cryptocurrency at Empire Global Partners, and he has developed this training session for us. In fact, Lionel is well known across the globe as an expert in the cryptocurrency, online gaming and international business space representing thousands of companies. Lionel is Senior Managing Counsel for Empire Global Partners, and he is Legal Counsel and Advisor for hundreds of companies in over 40 countries. Empire Global Partners is an international consultancy that has served clients from all over the world with a network of attorneys, accountants, and consultants who are pioneers in strategic legal planning for online casinos, banking, and cryptocurrency. They represent hundreds of cryptocurrency companies and several cryptocurrency exchanges where top tokens are traded. Be sure to check them out online at www.empireglobal.partners. All content provided here is for informational purposes only and is not to be substituted for legal advice. A money business is a highly regulated sector and all steps that you take when considering starting or operating your exchange must comply with the law. The experts at Empire Global Partners have worked with thousands of clients to help them make the right decisions for their particular situation and jurisdiction and minimize any extra costs or fines that could arise from legal oversight. It is highly recommended to get in touch with your legal team as soon as possible about this process. So in this webinar, we will be primarily focused on remittance as a service and how to get your MSB license in all 50 states. Before you start that process though, it is important to have a strong understanding of the legal framework and all of the regulatory authorities because these will determine the necessary steps to be taken when obtaining your license so we will spend some time going over all of that in detail. First, let's see, what is remittance as a service? Remittance as a service, or RAS, is a turnkey solution that will expand in 2021. RAS is the all-in-one solution that allows entrepreneurs to launch an international money transfer service from one country to another, especially from a foreign nation to one's nation of birth. If we combine terms in the world of money transfer, such as software as a service, platform as a service, or infrastructure as a service, together for licensing, legal regulations, by payment, identity, we get RAS, which stands for Remittance as a Service. If you want to set up a money transfer company and you don't have licenses, software, compliance, and so on, RAS acts as an all-in-one box. You can rent it and it includes almost everything. Banking, processing, payment, escrow, nostro, vostro, treasury, fax, delivery partners, and so on. The market has seen year-on-year -year growth for almost 17 years. Many people used this period to transfer money across borders. People have moved money for investment, haven, or to bridge funding shortfalls created by the current situation. If you want access to the U.S. and European peer-to-peer -peer money transfer market, if you have a brand or want to develop one, RAS is a service you should consider today. Overseas banks, MTOs, fintech, mobile networks, and retail networks will be the firms that will benefit the most. Now let's see what Remittance as a Service provides. It provides access to the U.S. domestic and international peer-to-peer -peer money transfer market, legal cover for money transmitter licenses, banking arrangements, FBO for benefit of pooled accounts, onboarding, CIP, KYC, AML, CTF, payment processing, access to payment networks and settlement, access to beneficiary country banks, MTOs, option to BYOBB or BYOMTO, bring your own beneficiary bank and bring your own MTO. Forex handling is optional and infrastructure, web, API, etc. 
Knowing this, we can simply say that remittance offers a sum of money sent by someone working abroad to his or her family back home. The term is derived from the word remit, which means send back. Sending money abroad has traditionally been an arduous and expensive task, exemplified by never-ending chains of middlemen, manual paperwork, and hidden charges. Fortunately, developments in the industry over the past couple of years means that individuals and even small to mid-sized companies can now enjoy faster, cheaper, and value-added foreign money transfer services. Now we come to the stage where we have to explain how the international money transfer market works. International Money Transfer Market is full of money transfer operators, MTOs, which are financial companies, but usually not banks, engaged in cross-border transfer of funds, using either their internal system or access to another cross-border banking network. Any transfer of money is subject to laws. They are non-bank entities that use networks of agents and banks to process payments and transfers across borders. To name a few, Western Union, TransferWise, and Zoom by PayPal. In the U.S., money transmitter law is subject to FinCEN, or Financial Crimes Enforcement Network. The MSB Registrant Search webpage contains entities that have registered as money services businesses, or MSBs. According to the Bank Secrecy Act, BSA, regulations at 31 CFR 1022.380 A through F, administered by the FinCEN. All MSB registrations must be completed electronically through the BSA e-filing system. Once you have your BSA e-filing system account set up, you'll need to log in and submit the RMSB to satisfy the registration requirement. So how do you submit RMSB? After logging into the BSA e-filing system, under Reports, fill out all the required information. After you fill out the online RMSB on the BSA e-filing system, you'll need to digitally sign your RMSB by clicking on Sign with PIN. Your assigned PIN will be emailed to you. After digitally signing your PIN, you will then click on Save to save a copy of your RMSB. Click on Submit to submit your RMSB to the BSA e-filing system. A confirmation pop-up window will appear with your BSA e-filing system tracking ID. CFPB, or Consumer Financial Product Bureau, will provide you with all up-to-date information to protect and manage your finances. Currency and Foreign Transactions Reporting Act, or Bank Secrecy Act of 1970, BSA, is a U.S. law requiring financial institutions in the United States to assist U.S. government agencies in detecting and preventing money laundering. The Act requires financial institutions to keep records of cash purchases of negotiable instruments, file reports if the daily aggregate exceeds $10,000, and report suspicious activity that may signify money laundering, tax evasion, or other criminal activities. The USA Patriot Act is related to foreign terrorism. The FISMA, or Federal Information Security Modernization Act of 2014, and more federal institutions are there to deal with their regulation to follow U.S. money transmitter law. Now, what are the types of RAS licenses? There are two types of RAS licensing, domestic transactions in 50 U.S. states, secured as an FBO account, international transactions. Concerning international transactions, it must first be understood that when funds leave a pooled account to go abroad, the authorized entity must be responsible for the liability and delivery of the funds. Foreign remittance is a transfer of money from a foreign worker to their family or other individuals in their home countries. Bank coverage ceases at this time. Licensed MSBs then take ownership of the assets from the pooled account and associated responsibilities for further settlement. Funds are only released to the associated bank, medium-term operating body in the beneficiary country when they have replenished the money to the end user and confirmed the delivery of transactions. To promote transparency, some countries limit remittances to bank wires, but banks are the most expensive transfer channel, according to the World Bank. In April 2020, the World Bank warned that foreign remittances are likely to decline by 20% due to the global economic downturn. The United States is the leading source of foreign remittances, followed by Russia and Saudi Arabia. On domestic licensing, i.e. for peer-to-peer -peer transactions between customers in all 50 states, we have a banking agent who provides FBO consolidated accounts. Your TOS will mention that the customer is opening an account with a bank agent who provides the FBO arrangement. Funds are issued at a licensed bank with a national charter. The banking agent gives instructions on how to handle the funds on your behalf, which the bank then executes. Instructions to the banking agent are provided via the API. 
The application for the funds is taken over by the bank itself so that at no time do you have any contact with the funds. The bank will only cover U.S. transactions. Money transmitter laws for each state are made by the financial regulator of each U.S. state. For example, the state of Georgia says that if a person is receiving money for transmission on behalf of another person or persons, they will need to be licensed. If a person were sending money on their behalf, they would not need to be licensed. In Arizona, the license is required for any company that sells or issues payment instruments, receives money for transmission, exchanges payment instruments, invoices, or accounts. Under California statutes, businesses receiving money or a monetary value for transmission within or outside the U.S. must obtain a money transmitter license in California. Whether the transmissions are physically in the state or with, to, or from persons located in California. Under Delaware statute, any check, draft, money order, personal money order, or another instrument for the transmission or payment of money is considered a transmission, and any entity selling, issuing, or engaging in the activity must obtain a money transmitter license. The basic information can be found on FinCEN's website. MSB registration with FinCEN is a mandatory federal requirement. All MSBs have to register. The next step would be to apply for money transmitter licenses with the state-level financial regulators for all the states in which you plan to do business. The United States is one of the most difficult markets to work with, not just from a licensing point of view, but also from the fact that the barrier to entry into the world's largest market has a very high barrier to entry in the form of capital required. Banks, money transfer operators, and commercial companies outside the U.S. are not allowed to solicit clients from the U.S. without being registered with FinCEN and having money transmitter licenses for each state in which they do business. The two-year-long process of obtaining a money transmitter license has an alternative in RAS. As there is a lot of work and requirements needed for each of the U.S. countries, Empire Global Partners can offer you a solution to getting your license in all U.S. countries in under 60 days and with under $200,000 of cost. All you have to do is contact Empire Global at info at empireglobal.partners and you'll get a full list of information, fees, timelines, and requirements. On behalf of Empire Global Partners, I want to thank you so much for joining us, and we will see you next time.